Hi, St. Paul's families. Just want to take a few moments here and share some of the things that you need to know as we get ready for this uh, children's Christmas service that'll be outdoors on Sunday, December 13th at 530. The theme of this service is joy, and we can't wait to share our joy with you about this Christmas season. So here's a few things you need to know. Um, you will be assigned a seating position when you sign up for the Christmas service. We're doing this so we can spread out everybody at six different locations around the property, as you can see here. Each of these locations has plenty of space, enough to seat about 350 people, but we envision maybe no more than 100 people will be at each spot, and that way we'll be able to spread everybody out, uh, just given the local circumstances right now, uh, just to make sure everyone stays safe. So you will be assigned that, so be on the lookout for where you get assigned to sit, and we'll make sure we communicate that to you. You're also going to be assigned a parking space when you sign up, if you sign up for a parking space. Some people are choosing to leave parking spaces for those who need it more, uh, for example. Um, but we have 98 parking spaces to give out. We have about 40 left at the time of this uh, video. Um, so once those run out, we will ask, people will have to uh, park on the street um, instead. But if you do sign up, you will be given a sheet like this that'll show you where you are to park. And when you arrive, just show that to the parking attendants and they will tell you uh, where to park or give you a spot to park at in this area. Like I said, if you did not sign up on time or if you chose to um, you know, reserve seats for other people, um, we'll, you'll be parking on the street. Um, these are probably the best places for you to park along the street. Locust is not really good for street parking. Neither is this spot on Elk because there's so much action going on over here with people arriving. But further down on Elk Street or Sycamore Street or Redwood Street, um, there are spots above Fairmont uh, near Robbinsdale. There is some construction going on, but there is no crosswalk there, so that could be a little dangerous too, just being aware of that. Uh, what to bring when you arrive. So make sure you bring your own seating. We're asking everyone to do that just so it makes things a lot easier for us. Um, so bring whatever works, a lawn chair, um, whatever you think would be comfortable for you. Bring a warm drink if you would like. You don't have to, but we, this is kind of a cool opportunity. And Normally, you don't bring coffee to church because you don't want to stain the carpet, but you don't have to worry about that since we're outside. So that could be one thing that can keep you warm. We were thinking about providing this, but we felt with the current circumstances that we would not do that anymore. We're asking all adults to wear a mask to this service. The, the goal is just to make sure everyone is in a safe environment as we're doing this Christmas service. So that's the, that's why we're asking everyone to do that. And then, not that I have to tell you to bring your cell phones, but, <laughs> but, you, but if you bring your device, you'll be able to access the program um, on your device because we will have some paper programs available, but it might be difficult to see uh, in the evening hours. So if you bring your device, you'll be able to view your program and stay uh, up to date on what we're doing in the service. So speaking of that program, you will have a chance to download that when you arrive. Otherwise, if you want to get that downloaded ahead of time, here's that information. So, well, first of all, the program, this is kind of gives you a preview of what it looks like. So it'll give you all the hymns you need to sing. It'll kind of show you who's going at what time so you know what to expect. It also has our recitations printed out and the songs that are, the children are singing too, just so you can kind of keep up. But getting that service, if you would like now, um, you can go to this URL right here on your phone on the internet. That'd be one way to get it. Um, you can also uh, go to this QR code. We'll have that available uh, that evening too. I'll also attach it to this email that'll go out with this video too. So you can access it that way too. Just a lot of ways to give you, for you to get that program. Just a few things about the service procedures. There are a few other things that are kind of more minor, but here's the major things. So the service will begin at 5.30. We're actually going to signal that the service is beginning with the carol on playing. We'll play that at 528. It'll play for about two minutes. Then when that is all done, we're going to have our leaders kind of get us started in the service. We're going to end the service with Silent Night. And everyone's going to get a candle. And we're going to have the carol on play one more time. And while that's playing, we'll be lighting our candles. When the carol on is done playing, we will sing Silent Night with our candles lit. It should be a great moment to end our service. And then just understanding that our departure procedures, we decided to do that similar to what we do for dismissal for school. So the children will go back into their classrooms when they are done, they're gonna get their candy sacks. And then just like we dismiss at school, we'll have a staggered exit with grades one through eight out this door. And then preschool and kindergarten parents are allowed to come in and pick up their children. We just ask that you kind of stagger yourselves a little bit too, um, just so we don't get too much crowding going on in this. But remember to go, keep going one direction so that we don't have a lot of crossover that way too. There could be some weather factors or postponements that could be our way, and we, we hope that wouldn't happen, but um, 
We do have a postponement to date on Friday, December 18th at 6.30 p.m. if the weather just doesn't allow us to do this. The, the biggest factor is the wind. We're having this in the evening because the wind typically does die down in the evening. But if there's a storm, that often isn't the case. Um, so if there's a lot of wind, that could definitely postpone us because it might be hard to hear in that case. Plus, it's just kind of miserable being in the wind. Another factor is temperature. That's not as important um, unless it's just frigid. Then we're going to postpone it for that reason, too. So we're looking forward to seeing you on the 13th. Let us know if you have any questions in the meantime, too. We'll also just be sharing a few other things uh, before then, too, as things come up.